What's good everybody? Red's here. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do a uh, hardware review and it's going to be a little bit longer format than normal because several of you asked to uh, see me shave uh, two passes with a straight razor as I normally do uh, on camera. haven't done that in a while but looking forward to bringing it to you today and introduce you to my uh, unicorn find. This here is my Martinez Blades 10 eighths Bow Mastiff style straight razor from Mike Martinez. I'll link Mike's uh, websites below. He has uh, martinezblades.com as well as Heritage Razors, um, which is where you can find his current existing stock of uh, what's available. Mike does custom uh, straight razor work at a uh, very good price for the quality that you uh, you receive, as you can see here. Before we get underway here, I do want to show you the uh, size difference. This is a uh, 6 eighths Boker Elite and uh, here's the uh, Martinez Bull Master Fraser. So some more about the razor as we uh, shave here. Uh, 10 eighths plus. This is a full hollow grind made with W2 steel. Uh, the scales are Spalted mulberry. Pins are nickel. And the uh, wedge is a piece of shin bone from a woolly rhinoceros. As you can see, although the blade is big, um, it it actually maneuvers very well for such a for such a large razor and the uh, it's it's beefy and heavy uh, but I think because of the full hollow grind it's certainly not unwieldy The edge Mike puts on a uh, razor is extremely comfortable, very sharp, but still a great balance of smoothness. And I assume because of the steel that this razor's edge will probably last at least 80 straight shaves without any need for touch up, maybe even longer. Mike is extremely uh, proud of his work. He also is proud of his uh, knowledge of metallurgy and I think it shows through with the offerings he has in terms of uh, different types of steel you can get in your razors. So for those of you that don't know Mike, he's a uh, veteran of the US uh, military. All his work is done out of Texas. And as I mentioned earlier, he's extremely passionate about the quality and detail by which his work is uh, accomplished. He's spent hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours studying metals. And I think that really goes to show when you get a piece from him, the quality matches any custom razor I've ever touched or even seen. If you recall, I had the uh, opportunity to borrow and shave with a uh, Joe Edson razor. 
which was a beautiful piece in its own right. But with all due respect to Joe Edson, uh, Mike's work is that much better in my opinion. You can hear the uh, razor has quite a nice bit of audible feedback. And as you can see, I'm still not struggling to uh, wield this battle axe, if you will. Even stropping the razor has been uh, less cumbersome than I anticipated. There you have it, BBS in two passes. All right, folks, we're back. We're uh, all done with the shave, both dome and uh, face. Really excited to be able to share this with you. Uh, most of you know that I've been searching or wanting one of these for such a long time. Uh, I'm glad I made the investment. Uh, Mike was super easy to work with. Uh, constant communication the entire time in process pictures were provided and uh, needless to say I'm really happy with the uh, the quality of this razor so if you're in the market for a custom straight razor um, premium type custom straight razor I, I truly urge you to uh, check Mike out US made veteran owned super high quality work great edge and uh, really nice attention to detail. That's going to do it for today, folks. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. See ya.